Putin reportedly intended to brag about Russia launching a nuclear-capable ICBM, but the launch was unsuccessful, preventing him from doing so. In his Tuesday State of the Nation speech, Russian President Vladimir Putin probably intended to brag about a nuclear missile test, but the launch failed, according to CNN, citing two U.S. officials. One of the unnamed sources told the outlet that the Kremlin used deconfliction channels to inform the U.S. in advance of the scheduled test launch. The Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Test, which has previously been launched safely, appears to have failed this time, according to the officials, according to CNN. According to the two officials, had this most recent launch been successful, Putin would have highlighted it in his address on Tuesday, according to CNN. The treaty, which restricts the number of nuclear warheads that either country can possess, is the last significant deal of this kind between the US and Russia. Putin claimed that although the suspension did not signify an outright withdrawal from the agreement, it marked a significant break in what little US-Russian collaboration there is left in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The action, according to nuclear experts, has put the treaty in jeopardy and is likely to result in less communication between Russia and the U.S. regarding the movements of their nuclear forces or military drills. The Sarmat missile underwent its most recent noteworthy test launch in April, shortly after Russia's invasion of Ukraine got underway. The Sarmat, also known as Satan II or the Son of Satan, is an intercontinental ballistic missile that uses liquid propellant and has a range of more than 6,835 miles. After the launch in April, Jeffrey Lewis, a professor of nonproliferation at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies in Monterey, California, told Insider that the Sarmat is a device similar to a throwback to the Cold War.